I'm Matt from Panelectric and I'm standing high up in the hills of the Banks Peninsula on South Island, New Zealand. In 2007 I released an album called Conscious Pilot and it's just about to be released on Rouge Reptile, uh, courtesy of the support and help of a good friend of mine, Tris Taylor, in London. And uh, I've had a good chance to reflect on the journey from then until now and thought it might be a really good opportunity to reflect on some of the pieces of wisdom and the learnings uh, that came to me during the making of that album and the gifts of the other people that I work with because it was their wisdom as well as their crazy inputs and their support that made the album happen. So this is a great chance to share some of that knowledge and some of the experiences that came from it. Uh, wisdom piece number one comes from uh, BJ Cole, who plays pedal steel on the album. BJ is a fantastically wise, experienced musician, and I did a gig with him at the uh, ID and Spiral Cafe uh, in Camden, and we over-rehearsed, uh, which was my fault. And uh, when I say over-rehearsed, what I mean is that I tried to nail down everything and make it almost exactly how it was on the album. And I, I remember BJ turning to me halfway through with a, a weary uh, look in his face and just sort of asking me with his eyes if he could have a little bit more room to play in the arrangement. And we got into a conversation about this and he came up with this absolute pearl. He just said, um, there's always got to be something to be discovered. And it's amazing, because it's not just a, a rule for playing live and making sure there's room for improvisation in a live set. It's actually tapping into the very essence of why we create things. We create things because we're on a permanent journey of discovery. And the minute you take away a sense of discovery from any part of the creative process, especially when you're taking it out live, it just becomes routine. Uh, that's not what we do as creatives. So, top tip from the masters number one, and a big nod to, to BJ for this. There's always got to be something to be discovered. A little bit higher up now. Um, chill out album top tips number two from the fantastic Laura B. Uh, Laura mastered the album and she also did some, uh, some voiceover on it. And uh, Laura's an amazing connector and a very connected person. And I was kind of um, bunkered away in a little cottage on a farm in Sussex making the record and had really become quite isolated. And Laura had come down from London and uh, spent a bit of time helping with some of the recordings, doing the voiceover. And then she got me back up to London and introduced me to people, including BJ, actually. And I guess the piece of wisdom that Laura brought to me was you can't create in a vacuum and you can't do it all on your own. You may think you can, but you can't. You have to connect with people and you have to be open to learning from them and letting their energy and their wisdom transport you along. So thank you, Laura, for your pearl of wisdom number two. Uh, you can't create in a vacuum. Uh, Neil Cowley, keyboards. Neil's contribution is astonishing, and if you took his keyboard parts away, you'd have a very, very different album. So hats off to his creative contribution. And what I want to share about Neil's input and the wisdom that I've learned from him uh, on many projects, not just that one, but... Uh, his speed, his speed of coming up with good ideas, and his restlessness, very healthy restlessness. And what he's taught me is that good ideas happen very quickly, that if you're laboring on something for too long, you're losing that spontaneity. You're losing that ability to be in the flow and guided, dare I say, 
by uh, a higher force, a different force, uh, a spirit, the, the spirit of music and the spirit of your own creativity. So, top tip number three. Um, top tip number three. So, top tip number three. Don't vote for Trump. One of the features of Conscious Pilot and one of the parts of the making of the album that I enjoyed the most were the vocal arrangements, the harmonies, layering up harmonies. And Daniel George Burke, who's a friend from a music school in Brighton, uh, helped me with the arrangements and a lot of the performances. You can hear him on Sumaware and Rising Slowly um, and Always a Way Back Up, which is probably where he's featured the most. Um, what Daniel taught me is not to be afraid of beauty. Uh, he, he said to me in one of the sessions, I asked him, what is it, you know, what switches you on with music, Dan? And he said, I just want to make beautiful things. And that stuck with me because it's very easy to want to get clever or to be um, abrasive or confronting or challenging or, uh, you know, slam things out with energy. And he just wanted to make beautiful things. And... That really shines through on the album. So top tip number whatever it is, um, don't be afraid of beauty. Finally, I reached the summit and the place where the final but probably most important piece of wisdom will be imparted upon you all from the making of Conscious Pilot. You get all the way to the top, and some bastard stuck one of these in the ground. I mean, how are you supposed to support free thinking when you've got this beaming into your brain from the top of the hill? Top tip number 234 from Helena H, who does vocals and flute. Uh, at different times and places on the album and another reflection from the live world but it also corresponds to the recording process as well people like imperfections now, I really struggle with this because I don't know just you want to make it right but the happy accidents the little moments where you go off piste uh, they are the soul of the project uh, more often than not and you know, I, I rely on other people to keep me on track with that particular piece of wisdom because I do tend to over-perfectionise. Uh, but then, that's my imperfection and it's worth celebrating. Looking back on the production of Conscious Pilot, uh, there's one thing that I would change, and that's the title, because it's a bit cheesy. It's a bit of a cheesy pun, but it was well intended, and I guess really what I was trying to focus on was the idea of being aware of your own navigation, whether it's creative, whether it's life purpose, whether it's walking to the shops, it doesn't matter. Just being aware of where you're heading and what you're doing, and what it is that's guiding you to do it. Uh, and so the last top tip from the Conscious Pilot production vaults is to trust your own navigation and to trust your instinct on all levels and especially with the creative process it um, can take you into some wonderful places and often the unexpected is the best so concentrate on that and you won't go wrong <laughs>